morning, it's Pamela here at Ninja Skincare, and I thought I'd make a, a quick video about birth control and how it may affect your skin. So for women, females, about puberty until about your mid thirties, mid to late thirties, your level of progesterone rises and stays pretty high um, during that period of time. Progesterone is one of those hormones that will make your skin produce oil. And depending upon how much progesterone or what type of progesterone your body has, it's going to make you produce a certain type of oil, more sticky, less sticky. Um, of course we want to make less sticky oil. So how that relates to birth control is that there are some birth control pills as well as the, um, the Marina IUD that tends to be hundred percent progesterone. And if it's the wrong type of progesterone, you can actually make your skin produce more waxy, sticky oil, which then gets stuck down into the hair follicles with dead skin cells and that will make your acne worse. So when you're on a birth control pill, you want to avoid certain types of progesterones. Um, all birth control pills will have a little bit of progesterone or sometimes they're all hundred percent progesterone depending upon the tablet. Um, and so thankfully there are alternatives. So on, um, for a birth control pill, you can get um, birth control pills that don't have the sticky component producing progesterone. Um, and then also, um, and there is one called Kelmor uh, right now, but they change names so much. If you have that name, you can always ask your doctor to give you that same family and class of birth control pill. And then also um, for the IUD, if you choose to do that, there is a non-hormonal IUD called Paragard, um, and that will absolutely not affect your hormones whatsoever. Um, so I hope that gives you a little bit of understanding. If you have any questions, you feel free to reach out um, and we can chat about it or you can talk to your doctor about those options as well. Obviously, <laughs> that's the first person you talk to. Um, but over the years of doing this, um, I've really discovered that there are certain types of hormones that you just want to avoid altogether um, in terms of the progesterone component um, because that tends to make um, acne worse for women who tend to break out already. So we just kind of want to just erase that um, acne aggravating factor um, from the start. All right. Well, I hope this has been informative and I hope you're all doing well. And if you have any questions, like I said, reach out and please stay safe and stay sane. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.